Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are using some Ulta products from the Ulta collection. I wanted to give it a go today because I see Ulta is having a sale on their collection and this was the look I was able to achieve. So, if you want to see how I got this look, the products I use, what I think about these products and all of that, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, let's jump right into it for today. For primer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream and my e.l.f. Soft Velvet Primer. Those are the two today. Today, we're focusing on a very soft but fresh face. And of course, I was on Ulta last night and I saw that the Ulta collection is having buy two, get one free. And a lot of people sleep on the Alta collection, the Sephora collection. Like, I think they make the best items, right? So, I found one of my favorite Alta foundations in my stash. And I wanted to use it today in case anyone was interested in picking up any of Alta's um, items. Why they were buy two, get one free. Put that in. Yeah, and then take the soft velvet. I've been loving this. I always let something discontinue and realize how much I really adore it. I would say it puts you in the mind of Smashbox Parma, but I'm probably like one of the only people on this planet they didn't like the Smashbox primer so <laughs> I didn't I didn't like them at all and a little bit of the paint pot today is Monday so it's a Monday get ready with me for work and you know those can be kind of all over the place <laughs> Especially when I don't have anything organized, but nothing is ever really organized, but it's extra not organized because I've been sitting at this desk over the weekend playing in makeup and all different type of makeup everywhere. <laughs> so it's extra not organized. But I like it like that. I'll clean it up and then it'll get messed up again. This is the pattern that we do over and over again. I did. I was able to find my tweezers, though. Let me show y'all. Mom brought me these about a month ago when we went to the beauty supply store. These type. And this has been a lifesaver with me applying my falsies. I feel like they apply so much better. Like, I got them in position where they don't look like falsies, really. They probably look like lash extensions. So that has been a lifesaver. And I was looking like high and low for that thing. It was in my purse the whole time. But I knew I had it. I just didn't know where I had it. So the foundation I'm talking about is the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush. It's a medium coverage foundation. And I have it in the shade Dark Olive. And this is how it looks. I think, oh, I forgot just that fast. I think it was like $12. Oh, sorry. It was twelve dollars. I think. I think. But anyway, I like it because it's so skin-like. And I have another one. I'm gonna try to find it when I get off work, and I'll do a video with that one tomorrow. But it's so skin-like and refreshing. And not a lot of people talk about it. So, and it's olive. I could do neutral, olive, golden, depending on, you know, the place. As you can see. If I want a little golden, I could add like my yellow drops to it, but I think we're fine with this for now. 
Let's see how it does. I haven't worn it in like ages, but I know I like it. <laughs> Yeah, Alta doesn't get enough credit for their collection of stuff. And why wouldn't a company that sells makeup really know how to make makeup, right? So, like, their whole collection should be bomb because this is what they do. This is all they do is makeup. So, they should really know how to do it. I need to see. I'm going to see. If I can, uh, if I have a concealer from them, because I think I do. I think I do. I don't know. It's a high medium coverage. A high medium coverage. And you see it has a little like sheen to it, a little shine sheen. There. Yeah, I never get my upper lip. Mm -hmm. I love oh, looking kind of. <laughs> I'm looking kind of, ooh, right now. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> looking kind of real shiny, huh? Oh. Buildable coverage with natural finish. Yeah, that's all it says. Okay, I have a Ulta concealer a full coverage waterproof liquid concealer this one is in tan neutral i probably need one with golden and that's probably why i never pick it up so we'll just put a little bit in case i want you know or need to add some golden to it but we'll see how this pulls together i can say that i probably only use this once so this is also on the buy to get one free sale. And a little bit of our red beauty. I need my big forehead. Let me go ahead and blend this concealer because I'm not sure how it performs. And like I said, I haven't. Where did I put the top on? I don't want it to sit too long and mess up on us. I like to dibble and dial up, dial up, dabble in golden shades, nude shades. No, golden shades, neutral shades, olive shades, never red <laughs> though. I can't get with the red, and I think the red undertones look so good on some people, but me, the red is just not for me. They say it depends on what type of jewelry looks best on you, but all that is based on your opinion, I guess, you know what I mean? Because I don't like uh, silver jewelry. Everything I have is gold. I love a good gold anything. So I guess that's all on your preference. Like, how are you going to say 
how can someone else say that silver doesn't look good on you? You know what I mean? If you like silver. So that part of the script, I don't understand. And some people like both, but I've never been a fan of silver. Ever. Like, I'd rather just not wear anything if I had to wear silver. Look at these edges. The concealer, it came out cute. I was scared at first. I'm like, oh, it's neutral. So, so far, I have a olive foundation, a neutral concealer. <laughs> Uh, that I found out the other day when I was in Target, my 210 is red. It's uh, deep red. So. <laughs> Don't ask me how we got here with this video because I have no idea. I'm not highlighted enough to my liking though. I'm going to take some of my cinnamon. The lip bar. Highlight me some more. And for extra, extra highlight. Y'all know what I'm about to get. If I can find it. I might as well use this. I'm going to just use Cookie Too Faced. I know that's going to give me yellow and that way I don't have to set with the yellow powder I could just set with a translucent powder Take that and put it on my lid while I'm at it. Cause today's eyeshadow look will be really simple. Yeah, that gave me what I needed. A little pop of color. And I think I'm going to take my Dermal Blend. Because we don't want any more color. So I'm going to take my Dermal Blend, the original translucent one. I'm going to set this concealer because we all know what this concealer is capable of doing. <laughs> it's going to crease. I got three concealers. So let's go ahead and set it. We can do my eyebrow. <coughs> if I don't choke on the powder. <coughs> now I'm taking the Zulu palette and I need to take this brown shade right here and place that all over the lid. So y'all, today's look is going to be really to the point. This is the perfect brown orange shade. If you were ever looking for one. Perfect transition, perfect all over lid shade, all of that.
and I'm just packing it on there. We want the color to be as vibrant as it can be. And then we'll take a blending brush and blend out the edges. Clean out the edges, going up in circle motions. Back and forth. Make sure you get that crease. I have a deep set crease, so I feel like I have to make sure that I'm getting in there with the color. Because if not, I can miss the color. Right, I always look down to grab my crease. Make sure I got it filled in. Okay. Then I need a white base. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blank canvas and put that on my lower lash line. So we're going to do some color on the lower lash line. And I need for this to be white in order for the color to show. So. Just a little bit. When we gonna get another brush, which I just saw one, <clears throat> an angle brush, because we're gonna use that for the color, but first, pat this in. Alright, if you've been watching my videos, I told you I was going to come back with this palette because I want to use the green shade, the lime green shade. And you'll see once I put on my top today, but we're using the lime green shade. And yes, I'm going to work with lime green on my bottom lash line. Put that in the inner part. And then take that top matte green shade and put that in the outer V. I have no idea where I get this look from. None whatsoever. Combine the two. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope it come together once I put on my lashes and stuff. Okay. 
I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. As well as the top. My long comb. Okay, the mascara on the bottom don't scare me now. <laughs> uh, before. Like I ain't got no lash here. Ow. All right. Let me throw on some falsies, and we're going to come back and do the rest of the face. Oh, I can bronze, though. Let's take our black coffee, black radiance. And let's go ahead and bronze with that today. The top on my blank canvas. Not know what you're doing, girl. I can't mess that up. As soon as that's gone, that's gone. Paint. Do they have a blush color in here? Yeah, I'll just use the orange shade as a blush. Not bad. I'm going to take my KVD liquid lipstick and crucifix. So we're going to line the lips with today. It's like a plum brown shade. But it lasts like all day until I it off. To set, I'm going to use my RCMA powder. Y'all know I usually use my KVD, but today we're going to use this one. And set all over. This has no color also. And we don't need any more color. We just... Want to set it? Even though I feel like the altar has already set itself. But we can always be safe. Better safe than sorry. Make sure I get it out my brows. <laughs> it feels so lightweight. Like so, so lightweight. And let's do a little bit of, I ain't gonna put them on the bar. And then we find a lipstick. Okay. 
Yes, let's use about face there to there. Cloth. Is it a gloss or lipstick? Yeah, it's a gloss. I felt like a chocolate lip, but now I don't. <laughs> so where is my fortune cookie? Anytime I want to lighten anything up, I always pull out my fortune cookie by NYX. Because right now, yeah, good. Good. What I need. <laughs> Just what I need. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, made it back. This is the completed whatever type of look you want to call it. Brown eyeshadow, a little pop of color at the bottom. My main focus or main point was to use the Ulta foundation. I really enjoy this foundation, and when I saw it on sale, I said, let me do a video so you guys can get an idea. If you haven't already seen a video of mine using the foundation, you can get an idea of how it looks on my skin. Like, it wears beautifully. This puts me in the mind of a high-end foundation. Yeah, so that was the main focus of the video, <laughs> and I just added the extras. And the concealer, the concealer is okay. It's just a little too neutral for my preference, even though I like neutral sometimes. So I need to look and see if they have like a golden shade. If they have a golden shade, then I'll get pick up one of them. But yeah, so this is the face. Drop down and let me know if you tried any of these products, and if you did, if so, what are your thoughts on it? And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.